So I'm going to talk a little bit about trip, journey, and tour. I don't get it. So I'm going to talk a little bit about trip, journey, and tour. How often have you heard or yourself said, um, this summer I will trip to Australia? Well, that's wrong. You cannot use trip as a verb in this case, right? You say travel. You know, I'm going to travel to Australia. If you want to use trip, you have to use it as a noun. I'm going on a trip to Australia. A trip to Australia is a short travel for pleasure or business, right? Like he's going on a business trip. Trip is a pretty short word. You can think that it's a short travel too, right? Some people mm -hmm. say uh, take a trip instead of going on a trip, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm going to take a trip to mm -hmm. the States mm -hmm. uh, this com uh, coming summer vacation. Mm -hmm. Or some people say, I'm going to go on a trip mm -hmm. to the States this mm -hmm. com you know, coming summer vacation. Mm -hmm. Are there any differences between these two? Take a trip, go on a trip. I'm going to take a trip. I'm going to go on a trip. There are no differences. Great. Mm -hmm. Simple and clear. Yeah, simple and clear. Yeah. No, no differences. Thanks. Let's move on to the next one. Good. Journey. Journey is not a commonly spoken word. We don't use it very often. Uh, it's very long and kind of purposeful trip, travel. You know, for like, I'm going to go on a journey for three months to get over my divorce or something like that. It's not something that most people do. Most people never go on a journey, you know? Like, or I won the lottery so I can go on a around the world journey for a whole year. That's journey, long trip which probably none of us will experience, especially not me. Mm -hmm. Final one was, what was it? Yes. A question? Question. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, not a lot of questions. Oh, no, I like, I like questions. Yeah. Mm. Journey. Mm. Uh, of course, you know, journey, uh, people don't use journey as often as mm. tree, mm. but mm. There's, there's, you know, a certain case mm. where we can see pretty often mm. My mm. life journey, mm. my career journey, mm. or things like that. Oh, yeah. Can you explain that, please? Good, good point. My life journey, my career journey. These things are used in a metaphorical sense. They're not literally a journey. It's a metaphorical journey from your birth to your death and everything that happens in between. Or my, uh, my journey when I worked for this company or something like that. Or, or it could be a bad thing, too. Like, uh, how, was your, uh, how was your previous job? Oh, <laughs> was a journey. And the truth is, is that fear is normal. Like it's a normal part of the journey at every level of success. And the truth is, is that fear is normal. Like it's a normal part of the journey at every level of success. And the truth is, is that fear is normal. Like it's a normal part of the journey at every level of success. And the truth is, is that fear is normal. Like it's a normal part of the journey at every level of success. And the truth is, is that fear is normal. Like, it's a normal part of the journey at every level of success. Tour. Um, tour is when you are purposefully going to see something. I went on a tour of Buckingham Palace. I went on a tour of Southeast Asia. In this case, you were going around and seeing something, watching things. Mm -hmm. That's tour. The uh, most common way of talking about travel is using the word travel or just saying, going. What are you doing for the summer? I'm going to France. What's your next travel plan, Luke? No plan. No, me neither. Yeah, I'm so busy uh, <laughs> getting this business off the ground, so I'm just, you know, working on it so hard. Uh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. uh, also have a question yes. uh, related to uh, this tour. Mm -hmm. And as you know, mm -hmm. and there's a couple of companies in South Korea dealing with a, uh, tourism, yes. right? Hana, Hana tour, tour or a model tour. Digipong. Why don't they say why don't they call themselves mm -hmm. Hana Trip, mm -hmm. Hana Travel? Mm -hmm. Why do they call Hana Tour or Modi Tour? Well, I think because the nuance is that they're taking you on a guided trip specifically to see these things. Like you go on a, you take Hana Tour and you go to Paris, you're going to expect to see the Eiffel Tower. And you're going to expect to see the Louvre, right? Because they're taking you there for the purpose of touring France's sites. And I want to talk about trip, trip real quick, because that could have kind of a bad meaning. Oh. So the word trip, um, off the top of my head, three meanings, two of them are bad. First meaning of trip is whenever you're walking, right, and you 
you, you hit something, and you fall down. That's trip. So you tripped to Australia. Oh, did you? You know, you, you fell down so hard you went to Australia. Not likely. All right. Second meaning of trip is doing drugs, specifically hallucinogenic drugs, like LSD or mushrooms or something like that. Like, oh man, I was tripping so hard, you know. I, I took those drugs, and then my, my mind was spinning. So, third meaning is slang for being angry. Ooh. Yeah, being, being angry. And when I told my boss that I was gonna quit, he tripped. You know, he freaked out. He freaked the hell out. He was spitting and throwing things at me and shit like that. That's trip. So, uh, all those three expressions are very common expressions that all Americans know pretty much. Yeah, so Americans know. And the first thing they would think of is falling down. Uh -huh. That's the most common way. Okay, that's the most common way.